Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Good you? evening, teachers. <laughs> Good, evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? How was your Tuesday? It was very hot. Very, very hot. Yes, hot. Yes. I think this is the same. It's very hot today. It's very hot, yes. That is true, my friend. Yes. Summer is near. Summer is near. Near. Yes. Hello, Ingrid. Hello. What's up? Fine, fine. I did my yoga class. I'm relaxed. Oh, you did your yoga today? <laughs> yeah. I, I try to do it every day. You do it by uh, yourself? Um, no, um, I'm in a, I, I'm in a group with a yoga teacher, or sometimes I practice with uh, Elena Malova or Swan Lan. Oh, okay. Swan Lan. Yeah, it's a it's a Chinese girl, but he uh, she lives in Spain. Oh, okay. Is she good? Yeah, it's really it's, it's really amazing. Uh, at the same, uh, Elena Malova, she's a uh, she's from Russia, and she well, lives in Chile. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I, would, I want to go to Russia someday. I think it's a very interesting country. Yeah, it's the 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 I, churches. Yes, it's, because Russia has a lot of influence because Russia. I think I think part of Russia is Asia, no? Yeah, yeah, the the more that the the is almost more than the the fifty percent of the continent. So big place. Yeah. Oh, I I don't know I, if they have um um limits with um Asia and Europe, but the majority is in Europe. Mm -hmm. See, I no, but, but Russia, Russia is considered Europe, correct? Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's but, part of the Europe. But but I think oh, okay. But it touches it touches Asia and the Middle East. Ah uh, yes. I want to uh, visit St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. You know, I, I hear that in, in, in Russia, it's okay to drink vodka in the work because it's so cold. Yeah. <laughs> Never drunk? Because I don't think so because it's really cold. Because they clean. You see, but it's the beer. very hot. It's very hot, so it should be okay to drink beer. But no. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, another place that I went, I want to visit is Istanbul. Istanbul, Istanbul yeah. Yeah, Have for the food. For have you food. seen Have you seen the movie Midnight Express? No. What about you, class? Have you seen that movie, The Midnight Express? Uh, many, many Three. years ago. I don't remember. Yes, it was many years ago. Oh man, that movie is a classic. Yeah. George uh, Moro the was the made the the. The music. Giorgio Morricone, yeah. It was him, right? Morricone? No, more better. Oh, okay. How come I can't see you, Elena? Ah, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, Rosa. Okay, there you go. <laughs> no, I couldn't find you in my screen. No, I. the thing is that I was working with another screen. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I'm telling you, Ingrid, about uh, the Midnight Express, it's a movie I think is from 1980. It's from 1980, 81, but the movie is really, really good. It was about this family that they went to Istanbul and father, mother, and son. The son was in his 20s and he found really good hachis, hachis in Istanbul. So you know, he decided that, you know, he's going to bring some hashis to his friends. And in that time, Istanbul, which is Turkey, right? 
they have just passed a law that into zero intolerance with drugs. And they caught him in the airport with drugs. And the government, they were very happy because they said, yeah, and we have a gringo to give the example. And they treated him like the worst criminal. They treated him so, so badly that he even went to like a psychiatrist, like a, a, a asylum. It's a, it's a really, the movie's really, it, it's really sad. And it was a true story. But the important about that movie is that the impact was so big that the government of the United States, after watching that movie, they decided to have a, you know, with every country they are friends with, where, where they have a political treat, uh, treatment, United States told them, they made a deal. Like, okay, look, if somebody gets arrested, if, if an American person gets arrested in your country, okay, you follow the laws, but he will be arrested in our embassy. And um, because of that movie, and it's true because here, when if gringos get arrested, they go to the embassy. I mean, there's a jail inside the embassy. So I recommend you watch that movie. It's good. Okay. Rosa Elena, yes or no, don't say it, but it's one of the best endings of the movies. Oh, yes. <laughs> The ending, you're like, Impact. oh my God, I can't believe this. You can Impact. Remember, like, when he stays, oh man, this is it's great. <laughs> wow, you like music, Rosa. Yes, I like it. Do you like Ennio uh, Maricone? Ennio Maricone? No, I don't know who is. He made the music for, um, did you watch the movie The Mission? Yeah. That's him. Oh. Uh, the good, the, the bad, and the ugly. From the Je Jesus. How do you say that? Jesuits. 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 Yes, uh -huh. That's one of my favorite movies, The Mission. It's a, it's a beautiful movie. Someday, someday, I will pay my son to watch that movie with me. <laughs> because if I tell him, hey, watch it with me, no. How old is he? Four. Four? Yes. You have to wait. Yeah, but I'm going to wait until he's 10 because I can manipulate them. I, you, <laughs> you, want, you want a PlayStation? Yeah, okay. We're going to watch movies. I don't want to. No, no. I want to teach you art. Okay. Let's watch yes. Fast and the Furious. I find that, so I can hand that to you. You can see Disney Plus. It's not expensive. Six dollars. Yeah. But you, yeah, but you know, um, before we start, I was going to tell you, this two weeks that I was sick with COVID, Man, um, Netflix sucks. There's nothing to watch. Yeah. I spend one hour like, what do I watch? What do I watch? <laughs> and I start watching something. Oh my God, this is boring. So I, I downloaded movies. I downloaded movies. Okay, class. So yes or no, have you had problems with the platform? Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Always. Yes. yes. <laughs> we, we have the same problem. I think and we, and, we, and another thing that the girl doesn't uh, respond the message when you ask. Oh, she and, doesn't? Yeah. No, That's, she yeah. doesn't. Because yeah. I, I, I said yesterday that I was um, in the unit four and until this moment, he, he, she didn't give me an answer. Hmm. Okay, that's good to know, so I can let, let them know. I called her today in the morning. Oh, oh you called her? What yeah. did she say? Um, that <laughs> that I, I, I have a... Uh, uh, she told me, you, you have a 90% in my grade that the, the minimum, minimum the grade is 80%, but I have only 9%. I, I don't know why. Nine? Nine. 
Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like German. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> I, I don't know what uh, what is the the evaluate system, but I don't understand. You know, um, okay, if the platform is bad for us individually, I imagine it's bad completely. It's making wrong numbers. Maybe you already passed a test and then it tells you that you haven't. That happened to me yesterday, I think. So we had to redo it. So um, we're going to do that right now. Dun, 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 dun. Now, now, Rosa, I have the mission in my mind. <laughs> you remember. Dun, dun, dun. The mission class is a story about um, why or how Brazil is the only country that speaks Portuguese in Latin America. It was between the fight they had with Spain about Brazil. It's very good. And great actors. Robert De Niro, Jeremy Irons, and um, oh my God, I forgot his name. El De Wanted, what's his name? I will find you and I will, Liam Nielsen. Oh, they are really good. I will find you and I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I love Robert uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. I love, yeah. The problem with them too is I don't know what happened if they don't have money or something, but um, they make like 10 movies or 20 movies a year and they're terrible. They, they are now just making movies you know, whatever, like, okay, let's make a movie. And that's bad because they are great actors, but you know who's good and he doesn't make many movies and that's why he's really good is Daniel Day-Lewis. Yes. Yeah, he's very selective about getting a movie. So the, 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 there is a good movie, uh, very... Uh, Strong that I, I don't know. Remember it. I'm going to say it in Spanish because I don't know. And Daniel to say Day it. Lewis? Yeah. The, uh, El Ultimo de los Moicanos. Oh, yeah. Stay alive. I will find you. Yeah, I know that movie. <laughs> no, that is a, a, my favorite is in that. That is not a, because it's really strong with the girls committed suicide. Oh, man. No. Yeah. That is, don't say it because only. people haven't seen it. Maybe yeah, somebody... it's, it, because it's very um, touch yeah. it. It's uh, and it's, the music uh, is you cry. <laughs> sometimes, <I> cry. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when I have drunk maybe ten beers, <laughs> I, I put I put on YouTube the last of the Mohicans, but the ending, the scene, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, this is good. The music is good. Yeah, yeah. It's good. All right. So, do you see my screen class? Yes. yes. Let's do this quick. I imagine I you did it. this. Did you get this right? Who, who's ever done it? Let's do it. Yes. I'm not surprised if we get it wrong anyway. Okay. Instructions listen to a radio show, check facts. Or claims mentioned out of eight facts or claims, there are only six of them mentioned. Listen carefully. We can't. I don't hear. I don't hear. Oh, okay. We, we, we can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can't hear. We okay, can't okay, hear. Okay. I'm sorry. 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 Forgive me. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. There you go. Good evening, okay. listeners, and welcome now? to Still Unsolved yes. okay. Mysteries. Cool. Tonight, yes, we're good talking evening. about the strange case of Betty and Barney Hill. They were convinced that one night in 1961, they were abducted by aliens. Could this really have happened? Martha Stevens is here to talk about it. Martha, what's the story? Hi, David. Well, 
One night, while the Hills were driving home from a vacation in Montreal, they saw a bright point of light in the sky. Barney assumed it must be a plane or maybe a satellite, but Betty thought it could be a UFO. There were no other cars on the road, so Barney drove slowly so they could watch it. The object seemed to be flying beside them. Barney began to agree that it couldn't be a plane, so he stopped the car. And Betty said she saw about 10 creatures looking at them through windows in the object. And then what happened? As they drove quickly away, they suddenly felt tired and their bodies felt strange. Their next memory was driving on the highway again. They arrived at their home early the next morning. They said things were still strange. How were they strange? Well, they couldn't remember the drive home clearly. Betty found pink powder and stains on her dress. She had no idea where they might have come from. Did they contact anyone? Betty wrote a letter to the Air Force about their strange experience and about the terrible dreams she was having. The Air Force said Betty must have been having the dreams because she thought she saw a UFO. They said she couldn't have seen aliens. Betty and Barney were interviewed and hypnotized many times by doctors. They told stories about having medical tests on the spaceship. What did the doctors think? They doubted the story. They said dreams like this can be triggered by science fiction TV shows. Barney's description of the creatures matched creatures from a TV show. Doctors figured the Hills must have seen the show. Betty said Barney couldn't have seen the show because he worked in the evenings when it was on TV. Hmm. I suspect the doctors were right. That must be the real explanation. Well, maybe. There's one more thing. Doctors asked the Hills what time they left Montreal and what time they got home. The trip should have taken four hours. The Hills were amazed to realize it had taken them seven hours. What happened to the missing three hours? Good question, Martha. I guess that's why it's still an unsolved mystery. That guy has a strange voice, very deep. You know, has a nice voice, Jordana. You have a good voice, like for for for. Um, you should consider being a interpreter. Or or double. Voice recorder. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, voice recorder. <laughs> no, you know, like for commercials or or. I. You know that um, I think the majority of um, the majority of the donde quedan el precio de historia history channel history history are, like a lot of history channel sh uh, shows the doubles are from El Salvador really yeah because and and that's true in El Salvador we have a very neutral. Accent. Uh, accent. accent. Accent, right. Yeah. Generally speaking, right? <laughs> right. Because like I it's all, like Argentinian people, obviously, oh man, you're Argentinian. Chapinis. Yeah. <laughs> Mexican people and Puerto Ricans, you know, and in Salvador is very neutral because sometimes they ask us like, don't know who's that? Oh. <laughs> but like when somebody who's the Mexicano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, number one, the hills. Run to the hills. So, inside their car. Good. Number two. Mm -hmm. Number two. Number two. Looking like at creatures. them. Looking at them from the object. From the object. Have you ever seen a UFO? Yes. I no. think I have, maybe. You but have? It's the sober, thing is that, sober. you know. Uh, a UFO or, or, or aliens? UFO. 
flip-flop. Do you know what UFO means? U-F-O? The three uh, letters? Flying object. Yeah. Yeah. Flying, yeah. Unknown or unidentified. But so if, you, if it's an alien, then you know it's an alien. <laughs> you are certain that it's an alien. <laughs> Where's Jaime? I'm waiting for his comment. <laughs> he's not, oh, he's not on today. You have you've seen a UFO? I think I have, you know, but the thing is that here in Atacaco, when you see at the sky, there are many stars that seems to be moving sometimes. Oh, yeah. So once in a while you could see something strange. Oh, that's true. Hey guys, do you want to see my 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 cup? Look, it's the coolest cup in the world. Let's take a <laughs> <laughs> and this was bought in the Barcelona Stadium, baby. How <laughs> much? Really? It, yes. How? It was. It was a gift. Uh, of course. <laughs> from, from Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, it was actually from Messi, but my uncle, you know, we bought it. <laughs> they are okay. very expensive. The the cheaper is with uh, Messi, but just uh, the back the back of Messi. Yeah, I mean it has to $10. be ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, everything is expensive. It has to be then, because people pay it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what is number three? Number three okay. is number four. Number four, Betty number found pink powder yeah. on her pink dress powder. the next day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ink powder. Number four? Six. Six. Oh, six. The doctor. The doctor. Doubt. 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 Number five. Seven. Number seven. Number five is seven. The aliens look just like a creature from a TV show. Okay, number six. The trip took seven hours instead of four. It took seven hours. Instead of four. Okay, I got them correct today. I don't know what tomorrow will say. <laughs> tomorrow, the system is going to tell me that they're wrong. Okay, okay reading exercise. Reading. Mm -hmm. So we can oh, advance gosh. a little. I'm going to read it for you. Amnesia spoils newlyweds bliss. Yeah, right. What do you understand by that? <laughs> that it rains the, the newlyweds bliss. But I'm not sure what's the meaning of bliss. Does anyone know what bliss is? It's like a, a kiss, like a kiss. Please, happiness. Okay. What else? Uh, no, bliss. I found happiness or mm -hmm. joy. Ah, oh, man, you're reading Google. Mm, yeah, more reference. Excellent. <laughs> translate, translate. Yeah, bliss like, is like mm, you ruined our bliss. When you happy, the bliss the is top of happiness. Yes. So happy. that means that means the third week when you have when your boyfriend girlfriend, <laughs> or maybe the first month. Yes, they. You know, you are in your bliss. Mm. You know, you know when you see ridiculous people in 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 the supermarket, hugging, holding hands, walking. 
Yeah. <laughs> and, said, and they're adults, grown adults. And really, you hold hands in a supermarket. Man. <laughs> but I tell my wife that West of getting in Umed and that. It's my only. <laughs> Exactly. They're romantic. That's not romantic. Holding hands and hugging in in a supermarket. No? <laughs> That's that they are in their bliss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so amnesia. What is amnesia? Without looking at Google, it's similar in Spanish, right? Amnesia. Forget everything. You forget, 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 forget everything. everything. Hey, there was a rock song in Spanish, Amnesia, right? Yeah, Amnesia. I, mean, I remember that. Okay, it says, amnesia. what if the person you married forgot who you were? <laughs> Imagine, be, please. for one, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, like, did they forget about me 10 days A very later? good projection. <laughs> Yeah, you know, <laughs> that would be great. Okay, what yeah. if the person you married forgot who you were? For, for one Texas couple, marriage became a blind date when the groom came down with amnesia days after their wedding. Amy and Sean McNulty's wedding day started well, but ended with a shock. One of Sean's good friend was in a coma because of a serious car accident. Nevertheless, Amy and Sean decided to make their own honey trip according to plans. At the airport, Sean realized he left his wallet in the car after they parked. They'd parked. He said to Amy, I'll be right back, but he, he didn't return. Mm -hmm. Amy, contact <laughs> Amy contacted the police who found Sean wandering near a motel three days later. He was confused and covered in bug bites. He had no idea who he was, who Amy was. Sean could not remember any personal details from his life, not even his mother. Now that, that could be a good excuse, you know, very big lie, but <laughs> that's the type of lie I would have given. Amy was now married to a man who viewed her as a stranger. I wondered, you know, is he going to remember me? How is our relation going to work, said Amy. This was a big challenge after a six-year courtship and plenty of shared memories. Maybe he was rich and she knew that he had amnesia. And now that they're married, she can have all his money and legally take him to a hospital huh, or something. Ah, she's smart. Maybe, I don't know. I had to learn to ask him, can I hug you? I mean, that was hard, said Amy. Uh-oh. Psychiatrist Dr. Daniel Brown says Sean's amnesia might have been caused by a series of stressful moments like his friend's car accident. According to Dr. Brown, Sean's brain didn't connect with his identity anymore. He doesn't know. I'm scared my mouse is, I need batteries because my mouse is wireless. Uh, Sean's brain didn't connect with his identity anymore. He doesn't know who Sean McNulty is and has no memories to help. It's sort of like if you forget the name of a file you stored on your computer, you know it's there, but you can't find it, said Brown. His memory is like that. Fortunately, the better tunes, I'm, I'm sorry, the better times soon arrived. The day before their first anniversary, Sean's memory fluted back in an instant. He soon remembered everything, including their wedding. I remember showing uh, shoving cake in her face, said Sean. It was great. Sean views the experience as a chance to confirm he picked the right bride. I got to see how much she loves me, said Sean. We have a much stronger, closer bond from the experience. I could 
have found a better woman. I couldn't have found a better woman to spend my life. Okay. Sean does not convince me. Yeah. He is I lying. He is lying. Notice, yeah. notice how exactly a year later now he remembers. That's how long. I mean, that's a nine month pregnancy. He waited for the baby to be born. And when he realized, up and on a meal, then he went back to his wife. <laughs> oh, now <laughs> I remember. <laughs> because yeah. he had a good excuse. If he had a baby aside, oh, I, I, I thought it was you, baby, because remember, I lost my memory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Come that's, on. that's great. Well, you know, um, I have a friend. He's like my, co my cousin, a distant cousin. Something terrible, something similar happened to him for real. He married idiot. He was with this girl for two months and he married her. And she turned out to be um what are those people called that suddenly they want to kill you? A schizophrenic. <laughs> she really? Was she was a schizophrenic, but he divorced her. Yes, he divorced her because he really, he really liked her. He really loved her, but he was very angry that she didn't tell him or the family. So imagine the father and the mother, like, my papa. That was your response. Yeah, I remember, like. Right. Yeah, he was sad because he was telling us that one day he was sleeping and suddenly she started choking him. God. Yeah. <laughs> she had very big mental problems. Right. And that was maybe 20 years ago. He, I never, I never heard that he had a girlfriend again. I think he was very traumatized. That really impacted him. In a, in a seminary, I heard a case, a real case, but not in, not from this country. Uh, a guy was a reporter, and uh, the 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 situation that he has he had been living was very strong, and he was a reporter in a Escobar, a Pablo Escobar. He was in Colombia. And and I wait, wait, wait. What did he have to do with Escobar? No, it was in the period of, pa of Pablo oh, okay. Escobar. Oh, okay. And and he was a reporter. And and I think he was a very toxic relationship with the girlfriend. Uh, Pablo Escobar uh, group put a bomb in, in the newspaper that he worked. And and days before he he went to interview. Him, uh, a uno de los sicarios, I don't know how to say in English. Hitman. But this, uh, one of the hitmen. But this guy uh, arrives to the town and gives you the 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 money. Oh, if you say hi, David, there uh, the the packets. Package. Package of money, and the people waited for it. So and in, it wasn't. Was it El Faro by any chance? No. No, and 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 in that time he went to to change the check, and it was in it was in minutes he went outside the bank, and he lost the mind, and he believe he believed that he was the hitman. He he take uh, took off the the clothes. He uh, being naked. He got and naked. He, yeah, he got naked and giving the money to the people that he phoned. That um, episode name and soul menage, but it was um, from stress. Uh, from stress. Wow. Yeah. Really and stress. He, you know, but but I mean, he 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 uh, the, the this person he a psychologist and psychiatric. I don't know if I'm right. Psychiatrist. Uh, he, yeah, psychiatrist. Uh, he worked with him and. He cooled back. Yeah, I, cool I, I really I really don't know if that's if that's true or not that stress can cause you that because if that's true, 
I've never met somebody who got amnesia from stress. Or maybe I, 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 I would have gotten amnesia from stress. You know, men, men, we would have amnesia from stress because women are very comfortable. <laughs> but we're okay. We are yeah, okay. We're okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do the listening part. It says instructions listen to a conversation between friends then check if it's true or false listen to a conversation between two friends ryan and megan then check true or false hi megan hey ryan were you at that huge party last weekend you mean the one that took up the whole city block? Yeah, I can't believe how many people were there. I know. I didn't want to go, but my friend Doug dragged me along. I didn't see you there. I had a great time, and we met a really cool girl there. My sister and I went to the Natural History Museum with her on Wednesday. What's she like? Well, her name's Carla, and I thought she was pretty shy and reserved at first. But she's not? Nope. Once I started talking to her, I realized she wasn't shy at all, just calm and cool. It just goes to show you that people aren't always what they seem like at first. No kidding. Oh, and Carla and I discovered we have a lot of friends in common. Really? I'm surprised you haven't met before. Yeah, me too. So what does she do? She works at home. She runs a business out of her living room. Doing what? She teaches middle school and high school kids how to save money for college. Carla sounds like a strong and independent woman. Yeah, she definitely is. Cool. Hey, we're going for lunch tomorrow afternoon. Do you want to come? Sure. I'd love to meet her. Great. Meet us at that Thai restaurant. You know, the... She talks a lot. I think Ryan was like... <laughs> Yeah, okay. okay, bye. Ryan wanted to go to the party, true or false? False. 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 Megan met a shy girl at the party, true or false? True. False. True. False. 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 Okay, Megan, let's, let's stay with false. Democracy false. here. Carla knows a lot of people. I'm sorry. Carla knows a lot of people that Megan's friend knows. It's true. True. Yeah, true. Carla works in an office. False. Oh. Ryan will join. Ryan will join his friend and Carla for lunch. True. True. All right. Let's listen to this one. Passages, third edition, level one, unit two quiz, part A. Listen to a conversation between two classmates, Mike and Anna, then check the correct answers. Anna, what did you think of the English final? I don't know, Mike. I thought it was pretty hard. Yeah, I thought so too, but I feel pretty good about it. Hey, do you know what happened to Kelly? She didn't show up for the exam. I don't know, but we were supposed to meet right after class to talk about our final project. Do you think she's sick? Hmm. I just talked to her last night and she seemed okay. I doubt she got sick so quickly. Well, I should have said something to Professor Atkins. I wonder if she noticed that Kelly wasn't there. Probably not. There are 55 people in our class. But Kelly never misses class. Do you think Professor Atkins will let her take a makeup exam? Yeah, she let me take a makeup exam once. I suspect she'll do the same for Kelly. I hope so. Let's call Kelly now and see if she's okay. All right. Mike has plans to meet Kelly. 
after, after class. class. After class. After class. Anna? Doesn't think Kelly got sick. Doesn't think Kelly got sick. Doesn't think Kelly got sick. Anna thinks Professor Atkins. Didn't know Didn't Kelly know. missed the exam. Didn't know Kelly missed the exam. Professor Atkin usually? Allows makeup, makeup tests. Allows makeup tests. All right, we got them all. Yay. Yay. Okay, next it says choose the words. Choose the words. This is part one instructions. Type the verb that best completes each sentence. Use infinitive or gerund. Do not need to use capital letters or periods. Do not need. That if we got here, you do not need, but okay. Mm -hmm. But that's okay for the, for the flat one. Number one, Maria avoids getting. 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 David insists on making a big deal. Making. Making. Do you understand that expression, making a big deal out of his birthday every year? Big party? Well, yeah, but you know, like, when, or you know, sometimes when you make a big deal out of everything. What does that mean? Like, exaggerate? Yeah, you exaggerate. You made it like, you make it like this big. Mm -hmm. Like, if you said, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Or like, you know, people say, don't worry, it's no big deal. Or don't worry, it's no biggie. Okay, number three, I don't care for clubs, but I enjoy blank going. to the movie on Saturday nights. Going. Going. going to. Going. Okay. Jenna hates blank to the radio because of the commercials. To listen. To listen. listen. Listening is also correct. Okay. Kevin has a job, but he still likes blank in his free time. Volunteering. volunteering. Really? You put volunteering and you got it right? Yeah, volunteering. I would have put to volunteer. I don't like loud music, but I don't mind blank a live band occasionally. Let's see. Sing. 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 Part two, it says, type in only the modals that best completes each sentence. Choose between should, could, must, might. Negative or affirmative. Do not need the use to use capital letters or periods. Jing was late. She had been stuck in traffic. She must, must have been. Must, must, she must, must have been. been uh, must have been left. Jack didn't call me back. He might. might have been busy. He might have been busy. I didn't do well on the exam. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have gone. I shouldn't. I've gone out the night before. <laughs> Who everybody has done that. <laughs> That loud noise blank have been a tree falling. Could, could have been could, a could, tree falling. Could have. could have been a uh, tree falling. Instead of chatting online, I blank have been cleaning my apartment. I should, I have, should have. have. I should have been cleaning. I should have been cleaning. That intersection is dangerous. Drivers must. Must. Must, must. be. Must be, must be more careful. Must be more careful. Yeah. Why more careful and not carefully? Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if you remember. It is an adjective. Uh, it is a... Yeah. So careful is an adjective or an adverb? Careful, adjective. It, it's Albert. 
as a verb. It's an adverb? Okay, mm -hmm. Nelson, what is an adjective? Carefully. When you... No, not, no, just give me the definition. What, what is an adjective? What does an adjective do? It's a reference about you or... Describe the person. Describe yes. the noun. Yeah, adjective describes a noun. An adverb. The and verb. An, an adverb describes the verb. So in this case, yes, it is correct. Drivers must be more careful. Drivers, careful. Careful is describing the driver, so it's correct. ¿Cómo hubiera sido si hubiera sido carefully? Drivers must drive Must carefully. drive carefully, exactly. If we would have put a verb, yes. Drivers must drive carefully. Good. The hell? It must. Oh, it, it's not it, careful. Instead, instead <laughs> careful is must. Where did I put careful? Oh. Okay. Okay. You got amnesia. <laughs> I got amnesia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a moment in blank mind. <laughs> yeah. <Right. laughs> okay, here it says, see, type the words, type the words, instructions, read the following sentences. Choose from the following verbs to complete the sentence. Aggravate, cause, deal with, indefinite, ignore, run into. Just type the verb here. <laughs> Do not need to use capital letters or periods. Or <laughs> Okay, number one, Tara blank her problems. She thinks that other people will do something about them. Ignore. Ignore. Number yes. two. Oh, we isn't sure what's wrong with his bike. When he blank the problem, he'll fix it. Identify. 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 A third person. Not anymore. Yes. The problem, he'll fix it. But you don't identify a problem in a broken bike. You find the problem. <laughs> <laughs> or you see the problem. Or you realize, well, okay, identify. Let's just say that. Mia's life always runs smoothly. It seems like she never blank unexpected problems. Runs into. She never runs into? Yeah, runs into. Run into. runs into. Marco is a great boss. I like the way he blank problems that come up with. Deals with. Deals with. Deals with. I like the way he deals problems that come up with. Mm -hmm. Deals with the problems. Deals with. Yeah. That come up with. Not correct. Problems that come up is correct. I think whoever did this exam was using Google Translate. Don't ask him to come with us. She blank problems wherever she goes. Mm -hmm. She causes. causes. <laughs> she what? Causes. She causes problems wherever she goes. She goes, goes. Coses. That's my son. <laughs> you shouldn't scratch an insect bite. It only the problem. Aggravate. Aggravates. That's the last one. We don't have any more. Yeah. But Two. aggravate is wrong in the in the platform. I don't know why. Okay. It only aggravates the problem. It only. I got it right. Yeah, me too. I got it right too. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I just saw Sarah at the cafe, so I blank, she's in town. No, for, I know a fact. for a fact. No, for I know for a fact. Joe's plane landed two hours ago, so I am blank why he hasn't gotten home yet. Not, Not sure. 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 It sounded noisy when Vera called, so I, she is out shopping. Suspect. Suspect. Junko said she checked her email, so I blank. She has internet access. I assume. assume. What is Dalby? Dalby. I think they try to put doubt. Yeah. Number five, I blank. I'll see Emma today since she's in my English class. I'm positive. I am positive. Jerry loves football. I blank. He'll be at the game today. Have a lunch. 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 Have not lunch. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo, aggravate is correct. Yes, yes, yes. But I don't know why the, I uh, I am trying it again because I, it's, did, did you put s at the end? Aggravates. Yes, I. I, I I'm gonna. I am to check to check it up. All right. Check it out. Okay. Okay. The I've resolved this. The environment, many mota. Yes. It's the mota environment where you work. Yes. Yes. For many years, uh, about it's almost three years. These years, I uh, three years ago, I begin this this working in the environment wow. mota. <laughs> 30 years. Man, you know where I work? <laughs> where I work every time you 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 have an anniversary, you're working, the company gives you a free day. So like uh, I I should have 5 days I can take off for no reason. Like hey, I'm not going to come tomorrow. So imagine Ricardo. Ah. Okay, that's great. You okay. can say I can take a month. A month, yeah. And take it before your annual vacations. So you take a <laughs> month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I take it before Semana Santa. So you can have the two months, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Readings. It says instructions. Read the sentences. Choose from the following words that best describe each person. Type them in lowercase letter. What is lowercase? What is the opposite of lowercase? Uppercase. 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 Y en negrito, ¿cómo se dice? Bold. 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 Okay. Y cursiva. Italian. Cursive. Okay. Cursive. I use different type of fonts. I use Italian. <laughs> Use Italian. Yeah, Italian. I like permanent marker. I, I, I like that one. <laughs> Periods are not needed. Okay, it says friendly and outgoing, strong and independent, neat and tidy, wild and crazy. What's the difference between neat and tidy? What is tidy? What do you think it is? Like organized? No. That's neat. That's neat. Neat. Tidy. Like tidy is clean. like correct or something. Yeah, it's, tidy is a little bit like saying like you're picky. Uh, okay. But not mean but like picky, like you're very clean, like obsessively yeah, clean. clean. Obsessive. Okay, so organized and clean, neat and tidy. Yes. Okay. I I am not like that, but um I like people like that. How is your wife? Is she neat and tidy? No. No, she's not. I think I, we're normal. Okay. We're normal, but you know, but we're not dirty, obviously. I don't like dirty people. I really don't like dirty people. <laughs> Me no, but um, yeah. my my ex, ex, she was neat and tidy, and I like it because I am not. I am very I'm, I'm I am disorganized. 
that's why I always have a room for, but I know where everything is. Like I know one shoe is under the table and the other is under the, the bed, yeah, but I know. The order I know. in the dessert. Yes. <laughs> but I had, I had a girlfriend that she was extremely neat and tidy and she did everything for me because her obsession was to see the house clean. So then the good thing about people like that is that they clean, you don't. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that, that, that was the good part about having somebody like, you know, so when you get home, you know, they, they tell you, you know, no, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. You don't know how to do it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Be happy. Can I, can I at least buy you the detergent? Okay. So, <laughs> so that was kind of nice having everything like perfect, you know, like, wow, this is cool. You know, like I, I iron my shirts. And if she saw my shirt, like, oh my God, look at your shirt. Give me your shirt. I'm going to iron it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like people like that. Okay, so Judy loves going to clubs and staying out late. She is wild and crazy. Wild and going. She's wild. Oh, maybe, maybe. Friendly and outgoing. Outgoing. Wild and crazy. Wild and crazy. Oh. Why let's try let's why try this first. Let's see what's why? going on. Yeah. Tom always introduces himself to new students and invites them for coffee. He is friendly and outgoing. Friendly and outgoing. Yeah, I'll be more friendly and outgoing. Mia puts her clothes and books away every night before bed. She is yeah. Need some tidy. Need some you know, tidy. I never understood that. Why do you have to make your bed when you leave, when you wake up? I mean, nobody goes into your room. Nobody's going to use your bed. So when you... <laughs> you know, order, man. I, I, I told my mom that one time and I, I, I will never tell her again because, you know, she told me <laughs> off. You know what is what what that means? She told me off. No. No. <laughs> because okay. Um, mom, why do I have to imagine me? I am 15. Mom, why do I have to make my bed? Nobody goes in my room. All right, it's my room. Um, it's my room, and you know. Oh, it's your room, but it's my house, you dumb son of a... <laughs> so, that's tell off. So, she told me off. Uh, yeah. hmm. So, I I never asked her again. So, I always did my bed. Yeah. Because it's my house, you son of a... <laughs> okay. Alice is never afraid to make decisions without asking others what they think. She is strong and independent. Independent. She is independent. strong and independent. All right, this is part two instructions. Read Jessica's blog. Then choose the words that best complete the sentence. Let me see. I'll read it real quick. Happy thank. Oh, read Jessica's blog. Then circle the words that best complete each sentence. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a good holiday. I didn't post yesterday because we had a huge dinner at my great aunt Susie's house. My extended family was there, my cousins, aunts, and uncles, and nieces and nephews. The great thing about Thanksgiving is that everyone cooks. Each person brings a dish. My favorite dish this year was my brother-in-law's, my brother-in-law Andy's apple cranberry pie. I made baked broccoli with chestnuts. Do you know what are chestnuts? Like almond? 
almonds, yeah. I'm not afraid of trying new recipes, but it was a mistake. I noticed that people weren't eating it. And when I tasted it, I knew it was awful. My wild and crazy great uncle Pete loudly announced that whoever ate the most baked broccoli would win a prize. I, a prize, a bottle of stomach medicine. The cool thing about Thanksgiving is you get to know your family better. And if you make a bad recipe, everyone, everyone's there to laugh along with you. That's similar to El Salvador, but in Christmas, right? Yeah. But we don't take almond, pear, cherry, pot, pie, blah. We take tamales and quesadillas or mm -hmm. semitón. Yes. I take suspiros. Suspiritos. That's not typical. <laughs> no, because I, one time I had to take something to my family. You know, what do I take? Dessert. Okay, cool. And I forgot, you know. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, it was Christmas. So, okay, yeah, don't worry. I'll take dessert. And then I realized that everything was closed that day when I was going to the dinner. <laughs> so the only thing opened was the store. So I bought a lot of suspiritos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my mother was very angry with me. She told me off again. <laughs> she told me off because she was expecting like a cake or, or something. <laughs> but that's me because I left everything to the last minute. Okay, Thanksgiving dinner was at Jessica's blank house. The great aunt Susie. Great aunt, great aunt, Susie. aunt Susie's. Usually white people in the United States, they do that. Oh, I went to my Uncle Joe's house. They like saying the name. I don't know why. So what you do on the weekend? Oh, man, I went to my Grandpa Joe's. You know, it's like, who the hell is Joe? I know it's your grandpa. It's not, it's not like us Latinos, you know. What you do on the weekend? I went to my grandpa's house. Oh, good. But um, I don't know why the um, white American people are more, they like to say um, the name. White did the cooking. Blank did the, white. Blank did the cooking. <laughs> Everyone. 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 Jessica's brother-in-law made apple cranberry pie. Apple cranberry, apple cranberry pie or yeah. broccoli with chestnuts. Hey, that sounds apple, good. Broccoli apple with cranberry pie. Jessica Blank, the new recipe she tried. You didn't like. Didn't like. Jessica, good. Yeah, Jessica didn't like the new recipe she tried. Okay, number five. It says the broccoli made everyone laugh. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna say another word. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that broccoli is the worst thing you can eat on a date? Yeah. Why? I mean, because the F word. Oh, no. It, broccoli yeah. causes a lot of gases. Yeah, the part. Yeah, yeah, the part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. the you, you were thinking the, the other. I was thinking like. The other you, word. Yeah, you're sick, Gio. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay. now I understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gio, when you say the F word, there's only one F word when you say yeah, that expression. <laughs> yeah, but we are in class, man. We can't yeah. think of it. <laughs> oh, but part, you can say that. Yeah. yeah, so be careful. Do not eat broccoli on a date because that causes a yeah. lot of gas. Exactly. Or if your girlfriend or boyfriend eats a lot of broccoli on that date, mm -hmm. Expect the worst. <laughs> <laughs> okay, part three, instructions. Read the email, then check true or false. Let's read this email. It says, I am really sorry no one picked up. Uh, no one picked you up. Wait a minute, sorry, I need more. I am really sorry no one picked you up. 
for the uh, picked you up for the class party Friday night. Mindy told me last week she was going to pick you up, but I suspect she forgot since she had two exams on Friday afternoon. When I saw Mindy at the party, I figured you had another ride or weren't coming. I must have forgotten to turn my cell on because I didn't see that you had called until I got home. Man, that person's a big liar. Mario, Mario told me today that you called him last night too, but he couldn't hear you. And then I guess the battery died. Anyways, anyways, I should have called you to make sure you had a ride. Instead, I just assumed that someone else was dealing with the problem. I hope you're not too upset. Maybe we can all go for out for coffee tomorrow after class. Let me know, okay? That person is a big liar. Oh my God, I forgot. Yeah, and then the phone died and then this and those. That sounds like me 10 years ago. <laughs> 15. Akimi was at the party? It was true. True. Yeah. Mindy went to the party after the exam. False. 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 Talon's cell phone battery died. False. 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 Mario turned his cell, uh, his cell phone before the party. Yeah. False. 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 Talon didn't call to make sure Akemi had a ride. It was true. 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 All right, let's submit. Yuppie. <laughs> All right, yeah. class. We'll continue tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great Tuesday. Teacher, have a good day. Thank you. Good night. Okay, everybody. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Be careful with amnesia. <laughs> <laughs>